By this point, I think there's no denying, Apple is getting all its ducks in a row for the next big thing, the mixed reality headset. They're not even trying to hide it. I am incredibly excited about AR, as you might know. And the critical thing to, to any technology, including AR, is putting humanity at the center of it. And that is what we focus on every day. Uh, right now, as an example, we have over 14,000 AR kit apps in the App Store, which provide AR experiences for millions of people around the world. But I think despite that, we're still in the very early innings of how this technology will evolve. Uh, I couldn't be more excited about the opportunities we see in this space and sort of stay tuned and uh, you'll, you'll see what we have to offer. For anyone following Apple, this was obvious for quite a while now. Not because of all the rumors, but because of what's being developed the past few years. They've built their own 3D format, several APIs like RealityKit and ARKit, and let's not forget the whole Object Capture ABI, which allows pretty much everyone to scan a real-world object. And in this year's WWDC, they've added one more small but neat API in this ever-expanding toolbox. It's called Room Plan, and compared to other Apple frameworks, it's not as fancy, but I think it's still worth mentioning. Room Plan uses an iPhone's or iPad's LiDAR scanner to scan a room. Don't confuse it though with Apple's already existing scene reconstruction API. That one does something different. It gives us a coarse geometry of the space in order to enable augmented reality experiences. With Room Plan, we get a parametric 3D model of the room along with a simplified view of the objects. The scanning process is really simple. Real-time overlays show us the parts that were scanned and on-screen tips guide us through the scanning process. So we get helpful information like slow down or move closer or away from a wall. Room plan can identify all the basic characteristics of a room. Doors, windows, ceilings, and of course all sorts of furniture. By the end of the process and in a matter of minutes, we end up with an accurate floor plan. We not only have the exact dimensions of the room, but we also get valuable information like how much space each piece of furniture occupies. Why is that helpful, you might ask? Well, this simple floor plan could have a ton of uses. For example, imagine a real estate agent being able to hand out the client a very detailed floor plan just by scanning the apartment or house. But it could also be something simpler. For example, trying to figure out how much paint is needed for the walls of a room. With a simple scan, we can get all the information needed. And of course, having a floor plan is also a huge time saver when trying to figure out the placement of furniture or decorative elements in the room. Having the floor plan of the room, it's just a matter of moving things around to see which part fits where. From what I can gather from Apple's presentation, the exported 3D file is structured quite nicely. It's a USD file that has everything clearly defined. The walls come as separate objects, and all identifiable furniture appear as cuboids with proper naming. So it's really easy to either move things around or just straight up delete the elements that are not needed. As is the case with photogrammetry, LiDAR scanning has some limitations, but Apple clearly states those limitations from the get-go. For example, high ceilings might not be scanned accurately or at all due to the scanner not being able to reach that high. Glass surfaces or rooms that are very dark will also pose some issues, but from the few developers who have experimented with the feature, it looks like the results overall are quite good, even in those tricky situations. Another interesting bit of information is the scanning duration. Apple suggests scanning to not take any longer than 5 minutes since it would rapidly drain the battery of the device and will also drive the thermals quite high. I think it's the first time I've seen this sort of suggestion from Apple, but I guess it makes sense. The whole process is probably very demanding. Every part of the device is being used at the same time. Video streaming, LiDAR scanning, extensive machine learning computations. So it's easy to see why all that could run the device very hot. Unfortunately, since I'm not a developer and I don't have access to LiDAR-enabled devices, I cannot test the feature. I'm only limited to Apple's own presentation material. But I'm sure we will get to see more of it in the coming months. There will be a ton of apps taking advantage of Room Plan. Not to mention the Apple headset that will utilize every single piece of framework Apple has ever designed. 
We don't have an official release date for that yet, but it's rumored to come out sometime next year. Overall though, it's really exciting to see Apple's efforts behind AR and 3D in general. A lot of the pieces are already in place, so I think we will get to see some amazing things in the future. Let's see how it will all pan out. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.